Thoughts and Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and tonight I am super excited to be bringing you the Target exclusive NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Disguise 4 pack. This is a brand new set of the four turtles, and it has everything that you could ever ask for. This is going to be a great set to review. I found this at Target today. I am so excited. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, this box is really, really huge. So you got Nickelodeon here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here. You can see the guys there eating pizza. You have Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo, and pizza. They're at Vinny's Pizzeria, and you can see the, the, the um, <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, I just can't talk. You can see Vinny's written on the glass behind them. You can see they're in a booth. You have Turtles in Disguise. You have NECA right there. On the top of the box, you have Nickelodeon. You have this little uh, box with uh, two brains in it. Let's see if I can zoom in any closer. And Wow, that's pretty neat. You have a neat little flyer here. Now, I think the box has given us some clues as to some upcoming figures. I'm not exactly sure what these two would represent. I know they are involved in a certain episode. You have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles there. And then you have this. It's a little wanted poster from a Shrieka. This is the top of the box. Um, moving it out. Oh, this is going to be a... Um, oh, it's going to get too close. Uh, to the side of the box, you have Nickelodeon. You have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in Disguise going down. There is a person in that in the window, a silhouette. If I can get some light on there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's... Uh, well, I think that might be the character coming from the loot boxes. I can't remember what his name was, but he was the mutant and then he turned into the bat and then we got wanted poster with rocksteady there and you have a advertisement for combat land and that was in a little amusement park the turtles went to and they had to fight all these robots so that was pretty cool before we get to the back of the box on the other side of the box you again have nickelodeon you have teenage mutant ninja turtles turtles in disguise and you have silhouette there in that window and uh, that has got to be irma and we saw in the pizza monster uh, advertisement that she was going to be coming you saw her arm there and that was pretty cool and down here oh look at there you have a garbage can with joe eyeball sticking out of it and then that was a good indication that muck man is coming so that is awesome and so on the bottom of the box we just have a barcode and we have some credits for the box and then you know we have some more uh, ideas of who gave us this box so that is pretty neat all right coming back and finally we will get to the back of the box oh, this thing is huge and i'm sorry i'm out of breath moving it around you have Nickelodeon, you have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Disguise, you have a great product shop of all the guys in their turtles, and in this you can see Ace Duck sitting right there, so obviously we know he's going to be coming. We have Raphael here, and you have Michelangelo here, and other more turtles, and the interchangeable faces. Wow, this is so cool. Let's get this back to the front. Ah, anyway, that is the box. If you come up here to the top of the box, it's got a flip panel, and all you have to do is pull that down, and there are the turtles. Oh my god, they're so great that you can see them in there and their accessories. That is so cool. I love this box. Oh, very similar to the um, musical mutagen box in which it had a it opened up and then uh, if you look down here you have street scene and there is a lot of stuff on here i haven't actually looked at you have uh duck feathers here you have a broken communicator you have some comic books you have some stars you have some mutagen on the walls and you have some feet oh but look at the feet there is something different about those feet isn't there oh my goodness that could indicate something something and you have the pizza monster coming out of the sewer there and then there's some money and then there's some pizza and then some more pizza advertisements over here and some looks like gum on the sidewalk Ooh, but anyway so that is it this is a huge box so anyway that is the box so let's go ahead and get the turtles out and see how cool they are and here we have the turtles out of the box and out of the box Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff. This set is just crammed full of accessories and weapons and hands and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I don't even know where to begin, but I'll start with the uh, backdrop. 
Uh, it's not the greatest thing, but go ahead and get it out of the way. The backdrop comes in the box. You can see that it's kind of a, like, looks like a building and you got some skyscrapers in the back and on the front you got a lot of windows there and it comes down to a little street section so you can pose your figures in front of it so it looks pretty nice. So we'll be using it for the entirety of the review. So then you've got the four turtles, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donatello make up the group with one other fella, Raphael. Okay, I promise I will stop singing because I just lost 60 subscribers. Anyway, <laughs> so you can see them there. This is uh, how they come in the box. Uh, well, without the hats, I put the hats on. And the trench coats are really, really nice. Uh, if I can zoom in, uh, you can see they're actually really nicely designed trench coats that have everything, even the little rope that closes the, the trench coat. And it's actually even laced into the buckle. That is so awesome. All right, they come with uh, skate one skateboard. They come with uh, pizza, pizza slice, the alternate heads plus the fake masks that they wear. So that is interesting. They have a book, the hare and the tortoise. They have a boom box. Mikey kind of gets another little outfit because he comes with another hat and they have pigeon peak. That is their little pigeon friend that was in uh, one episode, I think, maybe more, I can't remember. And they have another pizza. They have their traditional weapons, katanas, nunchucks, bow staffs, and size. And they have a whole bunch of extra hands. You have two pairs of thumbs up hands. You have four pairs of ninja pose hands. You have a extra pair of sigh holding hands for Raphael and you have an extra pair of grip hands. So these hands with the hands that they have on, there are 12 sets of hands in this box. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of hands and that is a lot of stuff for this box. So since these turtles are pretty much the same sculpt and mold, I will just do one and we'll be done, but I will show off each of the head sculpts and compare them. We will have to start with my favorite turtle, Leonardo. So taking a closer look here at Leonardo, all the turtles are going to be the same, same mold, same sculpt and everything. Uh, the only difference is going to be the headband color and the initial on the belt. So like I said, we'll just do one and done. He stands about five and a half inches. That's without the hat. Now the hat will give him up, push him up to six. So uh, he is awesome. So this coat does go all the way around. And it has like uh, stitched details in there. You have the collar and the collar can kind of go fold down if you want it. Or you can have it up. You can have all sorts of cool looks with this guy. And like I said, there's a little buckle here. And the little uh, trench coat uh, belt is attached to that. Oh, not just hat out. And you could pull that through and that will pull the coat tighter. That is awesome. And you can see some stitched pockets in here. And uh, yeah, it's a little pocket. You can actually stick stuff in there. So that is cool. This is some really nice cloth goods here. So as you see, his hat came off. We'll take a look at the hat. All four hats are the same. They are just done in this brown plastic. It's a nice, nice mold. It looks exactly like a fedora should. And you can see it kind of comes up here at the back. And that is so it can fit on top of their heads. You have a nice darker brown strip here and some tune lines going out. That is just so cool. Everything about this set is awesome. And basically, uh, it will latch on if you push it down. It will stay on pretty securely. Uh, I mean, it's not that great, but you can see you can rock it around. He's not, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, that's some pretty nice look. So cool. He's, turtle bogart there <laughs> okay so we'll get rid of that coming closer in on his face you can tell this face is really really tune accurate the eyes do appear to be a little off but that's okay i i really don't notice it that much you have some nice uh, tune lines around the face and the bandana still sports that two-tone paint job where it's lighter in the front and darker in the back to kind of give her the nice shadow. The bandana part back here, it is on a hinge. The originals weren't on a hinge, but they could turn around like this, but this one can actually go up 
and down so that is pretty neat i'm not sure why they did that maybe they needed to have a bigger part since the uh, faces were interchangeable who knows but it is awesome so you can open up the trench coat and you can see he has his nice shell detail in here zooming back out nice belt with the l on it brown you got some tune lines up there at the neck that is just so cool coming around to the back you can see his shell we can lift the trench coat up that's nice you can see he has his uh holsters for his katanas so or his sheaths sorry his sheaths for his katanas that is awesome and um and the pants so everybody's been wanting to know if these pants are removable we will see uh this bottom part of the shell is soft so it can move up a little bit and so that will give us the clearance to pull the pants off so yeah, that was a little challenging to remove the pants and the coat, but this is what you got. A full-fledged ninja turtle with knee pads and wrist pads and elbow pads, all the color that you expect them to be, and he looks awesome. This is so cool. Now that we have the coat off, you can see that the dark shade uh, does go through the entire body, so it does continue other than just the uh, mask so that's cool and you have his accessories this is his katana he had two of those and here his is alternate head so he's got the angry eyes here and the closed angry mouth these parts are interchangeable i'll show that off when we get to accessories but that is so cool and then again here's his coat and they have actually i didn't notice the little flaps on the top so that is neat uh, very authentic for a trench coat and here are his pants there's not really much to these they're just little pants and they have a little stretchy in there and their stitch detail really in there you just got the stitches here on the bottom and that hold them together so eh, nothing too great about the pants uh, I want to compare him with the other NECA Leonardo from the Shredder NECA 2-pack and here is the original Leonardo and you can see they're pretty much the same colors but the new uh, Leonardo he's a little more glossier kind of colorful the heads are definitely different this one is a little bigger I think again to make up for that uh, face changing detail and these faces are just dead on cartoon accurate I didn't think you could get much more cartoon accurate than this guy but here he is. Ugh, NECA just keeps proving me wrong. So pretty much the sculpt and is all the same. The arms on here do appear a little smaller and that could be because they have to get the trench coat on. Um, and the legs, I don't know. It, again, it, I guess it, it could be the same and I could just be seeing things or trying to find differences that aren't there, but I don't know. They look identical. Um, so this is the back of them, and that is really cool. I love these guys. All right, moving on. And for our articulation, starting at the head, the head can go around 360 degrees if you wanted to break your turtle's neck. And he does have a little bit of wiggly waggly. And like I said earlier, the uh, bandana part, it does go around and it can go in and out so that is cool the neck is on a is a joint so it can go left and right not really forward that much but eh, you get a little bit there eh, actually you get a lot my bad this is very new figure so it's going to be a little bit stiff out of the box so be very careful you get a lot of good net mo movement there all right going down to the shoulders shoulders can come up just a little bit and down they can go around 360 degrees you do have a bicep swivel that goes all the way around elbow bend it's tight so be very careful with it so it does go you got a little hinge there wrist articulation all the way around 360 degrees and hinge um hinge not technically on these hands but the most of the other hands do have hinges so you'll just have to look and see if the hand you have has a hinge so you can move it in and out for years i said that this was a solid piece and there he had no uh, waist articulation that is a lie i have discovered that he does have a waist articulation look 
that actually moves all the way around 360 degrees i never knew that and i've been reviewing these toys for years and i'm like well maybe that was just this and no no this is the original i said we talked about look that goes all the way around 360 degrees. I never knew that was there. I didn't even look for it because I figured the shell was covering it. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and put a thumbs down on this video because I suck. I couldn't believe I missed that for years. Oh, oh anyway, I'm kidding about the thumbs down. Please don't do that. Please don't <laughs> give me a thumbs up. All right, uh, coming back down to the legs, legs. Um, you can go out to the side you get a little bit of a um, thigh swivel but not too much you have a double knee bend that will get you all the way up to there which is really nice you have some foot articulation it does go all the way around 360 degrees and there is a hinge to bring it up and down just be careful with it mine is again stiff and with NECA figures sometimes you have to heat them up with uh, hair dryers and some people actually boil them in hot water to get them to loosen up but eh I think if you just kind of work in, in and out just be very careful so that is it for his body articulation and taking a closer look at this head it is on a ball joint so it will just pop off real easy but what we can do with this head it is interchangeable with every face that's in the box okay so right now you can see leonardo he's sitting there he's all happy he's a smiling turtle but what if we want to make leonardo angry Arr! so uh we can do that so what we'll need to do is come around and I, what i like to do is kind of get my nail right here underneath the um part the blue of the bandana and kind of push it up and that will pop right off ah, oh god he's just eyes oh, that's pretty gruesome and then you have uh your uh empty mouth here and then you have your eyes and you can basically uh, get your yelly face you can see the yelly face here because he's angry and uh you can put this in there so if you would go around the back you can see that there's a little ditch in there and that's for the bandana so you can line that up if you want to do it that way and it will just snap right into place or it should yeah there we go and then you have ah but now with his kind of weird eyes he doesn't look like he's angry as much as he looks like he's uh scared oh my god and that's kind of the neat little thing with these thi with these uh heads you can interchange different uh eyes and stuff so if we actually if we want to get him angry let's take this back off and we'll keep the same mouth but we'll bring in his alternate head which is here and these are his angry eyes we're sort of like mr potato heads like oh you've done it now you've switched to my angry eyes it's like and again we'll stick this right in here line up the bandana thing at the back and there we have angry leonardo Rawr! angry Rawr! so that is cool so then you could do that again with every head in this pack they have uh, like four different emotions you can have the ah and then you have the smile smiling turtle face and then you have the frowny turtle face and then you have the extraordinarily happy turtle face so you can interchange all these together so if you want to be extra happy you can put this set on there and hey he's a really happy guy ha <laughs> ha and uh, I think if you uh, take the happy face off and you give him the angry eyes, eh, he can be a little, seems like he might be sarcastic or something, or he might be telling a bad joke, or he's just got some wicked sense of humor. Like, ah! <laughs> so anyway, those are your articulations for your heads. And this is a very cool idea. This works with all the turtles. Each turtle comes with the, uh, scared happy eyes and the angry uh sarcastic eyes so that works really well with Raphael. but anyway all right so that is your head switching gimmick moving on
And while we're talking about the head, you can go ahead and take a look at his masked face. So what we can do, we'll pop this back off. And like I said, it's real easy. Just pull it up and it's on this little ball peg and it will come off. And we will bring in this. This is the cartoon accurate mask that they wear. I don't know how human accurate it is, but <laughs> kind of looks like Uncle Fester from uh, Adam's family, but it's a nice enough sculpt, I guess. It's just basically a bald head and uh, white eyes with little pupils in there and some cartoon marks and a nice smile. And you can see it, it also has that two-toned effect where you have the darker skin up here and the lighter skin. There are actually two of these. This is the Happy face and there is also kind of a worried sad face so that is pretty cool you can switch out that this is just so many options in this set but anyway this will just peg right onto there and there you have him with his mask on and that is horrible horrendous crazy weird that's just so strange <laughs> look at him, but it's so fun i love this thing all right and then we'll bring the hat out so we can put his hat on it again. It will fit right on there. Just push it uh, down on the back. Oop. <laughs> Just not too hard because it will pop off. All right, and there you go. All right, moving on. And next I want to take a look at Michelangelo. Not that uh, there's anything different about Michelangelo. Again, they are the same. The belt's a little different because it doesn't have the sheath for swords. And when it comes to these NECA Michelangelos, I've always had to put the nunchucks down here in the sides of the uh, belt. And they fit pretty good down there. So he comes with two sets of his nunchucks. But this is kind of where I always kind of put them. They will kind of fit right in there so that's pretty cool but he did have some pack exclusives to him uh this alternate hat and it's a nice white hat it has weird written on the top uh if we kind of get a closer look at that let's see so yeah you can see weird it's nice and purple got some tune lines on it and it's all rubbery and this was for some reason particularly for him i guess he had this kind of a hip look going on so what we will do with it, we'll stick it on here so he can have his weird hat. Yay! Kind of cuff to the side, kind of be all weird and cool. Or it can sit flat, I guess. Maybe you can put it backwards. Yeah, yeah, I can actually do that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff here uh, that you can mix and match. And since we got him out here, we will take a look at his skateboard. And I don't care what you say, this is going to be Michelangelo's skateboard because he's the, usually the only one. I know they can all ride skateboards and they've done it in the uh, show, but I am claiming this skateboard for Michelangelo. And it's nice, it's purple, got some orange highlights and a nice turtle shell there. On the bottom it's blue, nothing too interesting. It does have wheels, it does roll, so it's pretty cool. And he can stand on it nicely. Ha ha! <laughs> So yeah, and if he wants to, he can hold it in his hand. So that is neat, like that. Yeah, cool. There you go, okay. And that's pretty much the cool stuff I wanted to show off with Michelangelo. All right, moving on. And here we have the Donatello, and I love this look for Donatello. This set, I think, was made specifically so Donatello could have this trench coat and hat. He wore this so many times, and he was so awesome with it. That was that episode, the uh, Maltese hamster, and he wore this the entire episode. It was awesome, and he narrated it. It was good. This is why you buy the set, so you could get Donatello like this. All right. So he comes with his bow staff, and yes, he. Uh, uh, if you look around the back, if you lift this coat up, he does have a sheath for his bow that can stick on his back. If you take off the uh, outfit, then it can go. So, yeah, there you go. Donatello's awesome. All right, moving on. And finally, we have Raphael. And what I like about Raphael is this, this face is just so Raphael. He's like pretty much zinging you and you know being mean about it or being sarcastic and you know making fun of you or something and you can open up his trench coat and boom i got some size baby size come on hey uh-uh you -uh. okay like that from the hey wait that's not my movie huh i'm thinking of another Raphael ninja turtle ah. 
<laughs> who's also wearing a trench coat and in disguise from NECA. Wow, but this is the better Raphael, I think. <laughs> so, all right, there is your Raphael. Moving on. And now that we're done with the turtles, that brings us to accessories. And let's start with the crazy hands. We have two sets of thumb thumbs up hands. So basically, uh, you, they're just giving you a thumbs up. Hey, nicely done. Cool. Way to go. Then you have like four pairs of these ninja uh, move hands. Like, oh, wah, wah, wah. Karate chopping hands, maybe. Yeah or high-fiving hands you could do that with them and so that's pretty good and there's like four so each of the turtles could have of those and then you have these special hands this is a special psi holding hand for Raphael. you can see it holds his psi really nicely in there he gives a nice different attack wah, wah, wah. and i think i mistook these as grip hands but i also think these are psi holding hands because of the part in the um i'm sorry because the part in the middle there is very nicely uh sculpted for the blade of the side so i think that's what that's or they also grip things so if you don't want to do that you can take the side out and you can say hold a piece of pizza and this is another accessory this is a nicely done piece of pizza it's uh, just a single slice you got some looks like some uh, pepperoni and maybe some olives on there some nice mozzarella and tomato sauce and it's brown so yeah everything a turtle needs so you can stick that in here and he could hold it he could hold that in the hand so if you don't want to put a weapon in there and that you don't only get one slice of pizza you get two whole pizzas here is one of the pizzas it's very nice looks very yummy i think i'll go out and have pizza today uh you got some cheese and pepperoni some shredded cheddar on there looks like and some black olives very yummy i really like the way they did this and you can see it's on a pan so that could be one of the ones they're having at vinnie's who knows and you get a second pizza more of a i don't know <laughs> michelangelo special probably it's just a uh, flat it's brown looks like you have some pepperoni uh some anchovies and some ice cream on there because you got some chocolate and some vanilla and strawberry it looks like some black olives so eh, yeah I, I don't know if that would go well <laughs> so <laughs> that is just yummy i guess i don't know so and for your next accessory, you have this nice book. It's the hare and the tortoise. I always thought it was a tortoise and the hare, but hey, you know, I guess it could be wrong. It's nice. It's, it's kind of a light red color. You have some molded detail in there for the pages. That's pretty cool. And you do see that it's kind of uh, layered, so it does look like a book. And on the back, you have this cute little picture of a turtle holding a trophy so that is so cute yeah and, uh, i'm sure Dontello can read that or maybe michelangelo who knows and for the next accessory you have a nice uh boom box here now i would imagine this is something that uh michelangelo would have but i actually seen or seem to remember episodes where they all carried it at one point they all had like black leather jackets and sunglasses and they were kind of dancing around to it and it's really nicely done it's uh, got some black here and some nice light gray for the speakers some more paneling done here nice tune uh marks i uh, got a handle so that is cool it's most mostly gray on the sides you do have some line details there and there so that is really nice and turn around to the back a lot more line details and on the bottom so yeah i think thing i like about NECA accessories they look cartoony as well as the characters so this is awesome and they can hold it right there and just carry it around with them so that is cool and whew, the final accessory in the pack is this awesome little pigeon pete guy and he is so cute look at him we're gonna zoom real close in and he is basically a nicely done white pigeon with some tune lines here that give you some detail and he has a nice little beak and a green mask and eyes and his little bandana part sticking out back here so ooh, that is so cool he got some tail feathers and his little feetsies are 
orange so that is neat i think that was michelangelo's little friend i don't remember the episode but uh anyway i'm glad they have him it's kind of cool when they give us additional little characters like this and the pizza monster and all of the others in the past so all right and that is it for your accessories moving on and this has been the Target exclusive NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 4 pack Turtles in Disguise. And this set just blows it away. This is the ultimate NECA fans Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle box set. This set just has everything you could ever want if you were collecting the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you missed the first run when they came out in the two packs with the turtles and the villains, like uh, with Leonardo and Shredder, Michelangelo and the Foot Soldier, uh, Donatello and Krang, and Raphael with the Foot Soldier, if you missed that and you thought the recolors were terrible, this is the set that you need to go out and find right now. This is awesome. You have standard turtles. You have their weapons. You have disguises, like little trench coats, pants. They're removable. You have an extra hat for Mikey. You have the faces. This, this is just cram full of so much good playable interchangeable things you couldn't ask for more again i may have already said that but i am so excited this is an awesome set i found it this morning at target it's an exclusive and those are usually really really hard to come by so be on the lookout for it it costs for me in georgia 134 dollars roughly and uh it's worth every single penny i can't recommend this set enough if you buy this set you will not be sorry and i know i keep saying i thought i was done with neca after i got my splinter and baxter two pack but i saw this i had to have it this is just super one of those things that come along once in a lifetime and you will kick yourself if you don't get it but you know that being said oh it's gonna be so hard to find everybody's gonna be wanting it and it's just gonna go for like thousands of dollars on ebay i bet that's just crazy but there is a silver lining maybe neca has just announced that they are going to be doing three week long pre-orders where you can pre-order figures the first week they've put out the new exclusive uh, new pizza monster and they put out a two pack of the Vern and the rat king and well i can't remember the third one. Oh, the the roadkill rodney and try the, that stuff i don't know but the point is there's two more reveals of that they're going to be doing this so maybe if we are fortunate NECA will put this out on the pre-order that would be so awesome scalpers ha 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 your day has come if they did that so yeah this set recommend it find it at target and if you're lucky enough to find it check with them check with the person behind the counter in the electronics department and they may be able to help you out anyway guys that's the review i hope you enjoyed it and until next time keep playing Turtle power.